I get my best video ideas from you. So last week, someone asked me to do skin prep. They say you never skin prep on video. I do that to save time and I just kind of assume everyone knows how to skin prep. But you know what? Not everyone does know how to skin prep and everyone's skin prep looks different. So do you use a primer? Do you use a moisturizer? Maybe you only need a serum. You always need an SPF. Anyway, I'm glad you're here if you want to learn more about skin prep and saint. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle Spieler. I'm an over 25 year professional makeup artist and creator of Mature Makeup Masterclass, a series of 23 videos on mature technique using all prices, all budgets, all types of products. It's really meant to just teach mature technique, not necessarily the products. Although products are important for mature skin, which is why I have been with Saint for two years. It's now my two year anniversary. I joined Black Friday two years ago. I started with Demi. I learned Demi, I became certified with Demi and like two, three months after I joined um, Saint and Demi used to be two different websites and now they are one and you no longer have to be certified. But I'm glad I got in at that point and I'm glad I got certified. Um, because Demi really was my gateway drug to Saint, okay? I want you to stay till the end if you are my customer because I have a really special 12 days of Christmas. It's a customer appreciation text party for 12 days. If you get in on the second or the third, there's no way to retroactively go back. I'll talk about this all at the end. It's only for my customers. So I will talk about it at the end and tell you what to do and what to expect. And don't worry, you're not gonna see millions and millions of replies. No one can reply to the text party. It's literally just information or fun little videos you can click or fun little tips. It's just a fun little 12 day text party for um, my whole team put it together. We all chipped in and um, we just wanted to have fun for the first 12 days of December and show you our appreciation and there's really cool prizes, okay? So stay till the end, I'm not gonna bore you if you're not, on my, if you're not my customer. Okay, first of all, thank you so much for all of the um, loyalty and all of the business that you gave me for Black Friday through Cyber Monday. I literally was chained to my desk here. I've been in this room um, a little bit on Thanksgiving, but all day Friday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, um, a little bit yesterday, especially last night, I tried to get in those last four or five color matches so everyone could take advantage of the sale. I'm so blown away. Y'all went crazy and rightfully so because brushes were like up to 40% off. So I'm really excited everyone got a great deal. I love a sale, I know you do too. It's so fun to save money and get quality products. Here's the thing though, I personally, I don't have an automation system. I know it's I'm archaic, I need to get an automation system but I don't have an automation system. So when I receive an email from Saint that says so-and-so placed an order, I click on your email and I send you um, a thank you note. Now it's a thank you note that I wrote and constructed a few months ago. It's a copy and paste, but I, put, I type your name in because that's important to me. Um, I change, it comes to my personal email, so I have to change the, um, email to color match by Michelle gmail.com. So it takes a few little steps on the 24th, which was black Friday. I literally have still over a hundred to go. So if you have not received a thank you note from me, or if you're waiting on your how to Demi videos that are private and only for my personal customers, I promise it's all coming. I'm going to just chip away at it slowly, but I had to get women color matched so they could take advantage of the sale before I could send thank yous. If you ordered on the 23rd, the 25th, the 26th, or even the 27th, um, I, I sent most of those thank yous. There's a few that trickled in last night, but I sent most of those thank yous. But if you ordered on Black Friday, I am still sending out thank yous and I'm chipping away. I've even had Gracie jump in and help me with some at night. Okay, let's get started. Today, we're gonna talk about how to skin prep properly 
under saint makeup. It's a great topic. One of you had mentioned it. Um, you seemed a little frustrated with me last week when doing my step-by-step -step and said, um, you know, why don't you skin prep? Other artists skin prep. Well, one of the reasons I don't skin prep in most of my videos is because it takes time. My lips are so dry, y'all. I don't know where you live, but it is full winter here in Nashville and it is dry and I am waking up with really dry skin. And when my skin gets dry, my neck gets a little saggy, even though I had a neck lift less than a year ago. This gets saggy here, even though I had a lower facelift. But mature skin is mature skin. And not a lot we can do about that other than heavy moisturizer. Anyway, I thought the skin prep was a really great um, video idea because I do have women who I troubleshoot with. You know, the nice thing of when you join me and um, I become your artist, I, tr I troubleshoot for you. And what's the one thing I always say to you if you have any type of problems, I always say it's all figure outable. We will figure it out. And there is not one way. What works for you might not work for someone else, might not work for me. Generally, it can work for all of us. Generally, it cannot work for all of us. I mean, we are all our own guinea pigs. So I'm here to guide you and educate you, but there's a lot of little nuances with every person. I had a gal who ordered Saint, and she's a younger gal. I wanna say she's probably 30s, in her 30s. I could be wrong. If she's in her 40s, I'd be shocked. She's, she looks really young. She has oily skin. She loves the Saint, she loves the Demi, but she was getting frustrated that it was kind of sliding off her face. She was blotting six times a day and she was really getting frustrated. So I said, tell me every single step of your skincare. And you know what? She was doing way too much skincare for oily skin when you are doing something like a cream makeup. Cream makeup is, you know, it's cream, it's, it's wax, it's emollient. So for an oily skin, you're not going to need as much skincare, especially in the summer. You probably need very little skincare under this um, in the summer if you're oily skin. So here's what another thing she was, I think she was over exfoliating because her face was really red, especially right around here. And it wasn't like rosacea. It was like an even red, almost looked like a sunburn. I said, you're over exfoliating and you're using too much moisturizer. So what I had her do, I said, please try this. And again, remember, we are problem solving together. There's no one right way for, there's no one right moisturizer. There's no one right primer. You have to be your own guinea pig. I can guide you. Um, I'm pretty darn good at problem solving. I've been doing this 30 years. So I told her to wash her face in the morning because she is anyway, especially because she's oily skin. You want to get off any excess sebum. I told her to please scale back on exfoliating. I said, do it every other day only, just for right now. Um, then she was using a Glow Recipe Plum Plump um, Serum, lovely. I said, use that. Your skin needs hydration, you just don't need moisturizer sitting on top. So she did that and then she went to SPF. I said, wait a few minutes, let that SPF absorb and then do your makeup. She sent me a photo at the end of the day and she said, I only blotted once. This is working. And I'm like, hallelujah. See what I'm saying? It's all figure outable. You know, if you give me honest feedback of what you're doing or not doing leading up to Saint, we're going to figure it out. We're going to make it successful. I want this to be successful for you. And it does work for all skin types. It absolutely does. Some of you might be wearing it too thick. Some of you aren't wearing it thick enough, you know, but I won't know until we problem solve together, okay? For a majority of you, there's no problem solving. You, you, you watch my videos, you jump right in, you nail it every time, but for some people, there's problem solving, okay? So if you are an oily skin person, <clears throat> I really recommend just doing cleaning your skin, 
don't over exfoliate unless of course you have something super, super gentle like my sex appeal. You can use this every single morning. It is so gentle, even on Sonia Rizzoli who you know created it. Um, well, she got it, it's a Korean skincare that she just put her name on. Um, but she has rosacea and it literally has healed her skin. Now she's still gonna have rosacea for life, but it, I'm just saying that usually with rosacea, you can't over exfoliate because you're just gonna make your skin so red, so angry. So you can gently exfoliate every day. But if you are having any type of surface dehydration, dryness, flakiness, I need you to back away from exfoliation and maybe do it every other day. I also need you, if you're oily skin, not to put a big old heavy moisturizer on, okay? Because it's going to slip and slide with your saint. Maybe, if, if you're having great success and keep up with it. I'm talking to the women who are blotting constantly and this is sliding off their face. That would be so frustrating. You might just need a really juicy serum and that's it, okay? If you have dry skin, you can load up on moisturizer, okay? Because you this is not gonna slide off your face because you're dry. Drier skin tends to have smaller pores, so we don't drink in our makeup. And so that is great for dry skin. Now, I am kind of normal to dry. In fact, I'm feeling kind of dry and tight right now. So here is what I do. I wanna show you, I'm gonna do it in real time. When I, I used this this morning in the shower, so my skin is like really, 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 um, it feels like a baby's butt, okay? Then I had to go in immediately with water prep. Now, when your skin is damp, whether you splash your face, wash your face, get out of the shower, you need to go in immediately with an essence. I don't care who the essence is, it could be a really affordable one, you know, from Yes Style or Style Vana has great Korean skincare. But in, what an essence does is it preps your skin to be like a damp sponge so you can accept more skincare. If you pour water, if this is a dry sponge and I pour water on it, it's going to kind of bounce and, and roll right off. But a damp sponge, you pour water onto it and it, it just keeps absorbing, absorbing. So I want you to think as an essence, as making your skin like a damp sponge. It's so important to have an essence. This is the Sonia Roselli water prep, but you could even do, um, gosh, you could do snail mucin. There's a lot of great essences, um, again, like I said, on... Um, stylevana and yes style.com or even amazon but you got to be careful with amazon you got to make sure it's actually coming from the brand and not a knockoff there's so many knockoffs on amazon okay then i had to go immediately into my vitamin c now vitamin c is just a treatment you don't have to do vitamin c i do it because it's really really lightening my sunspots i'm loving how it's it's evening out it's lightening my sunspots so an active is not going to make or break your saint. This is just an active that helps whatever problems you're having with your skin. So this is kind of irrelevant to application of saint, okay? Um, now I'm going to go in with my serum, okay? Now I'm using the water oil or I could use something like the Silk Serum by Tatcha. Um, you could use, I absolutely love Glow Recipe Plum Plum. I'm doing two pumps. I love water, this water oil because, oh, it feels so good. I was starting to get dry and tight because I hadn't put moisturizer on, but any type of serum is going to go in and hydrate you, okay? So if you're having any type of surface dehydration, this is going to hydrate you from the inside out, okay? And now I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer. Now I'm using a water balm. I probably could use her heavier one, her um, moisture barrier cream, because it is just so dry in my house. Or I could use the Tatcha right now, but I'm just gonna go in with this. Oh, darn it, I forgot my SPF. Well, you know what? I have an Atarium. 
SPF. So I'll use that. It just happens to be sitting right here. Okay. That is my moisturizer. So if you're dry or normal, you can wear that. You could even, if you're normal skin or combo in the summer, you can skip that part. Now, I love the Tatcha Silk Peony Eye Cream. I think it's because it's thick and it probably has like an occlusive in it. So do you remember when I first started talking about um, Demi two years ago? I didn't have a lot of success at first with it. And then I bought the Tatcha Silk Canvas where it's flat. It's like a it's like in a flat tub and you scrape it off and put it on. It's an occlusive. It's basically this, the, it's a waxy primer that I loved around my eyes. I've lost it. I don't know where it is. So anyway, I'm just using the Tatcha Silk Peony Eye Cream. And I'm telling you, when your under eyes are really well prepped, Demi's going to go on beautifully. Okay. Um, so I wait about, a, you know, a minute or so while I do that. I'm going to use Naturium today, especially for my oily skin girls. This has a matte finish. Please use SPF all year long, please. Okay. Um, all right, we're ready. Shake really well. Don't worry, we're gonna get to uh, primers in a minute. Two finger lengths. I might actually go out later today. I might hit Costco. Now that the hustle and bustle of the holidays is over, I can actually get a little bit of shopping done. Okay. I always put it on my neck too, but I'm not being diligent about that right now. Definitely the back of the hands, especially if I'm going in the car. Did you know if you get your nails done and you put your nails under those LED lights to um, cure the polish, you should always have SPF on your hands. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, and then I kill myself because I'm so mad because my hands look old anyway. And then I'm putting them under those LED lamps. Okay, so um, do you see how that kind of has more of a natural finish or almost like a, it, it's going to matte down in a minute. I really love this. Um, this is the Naturium UV Reflect. I think it's about, I don't know, it's probably between $20 and $30. They just had a huge sale, like a little piece of salt. Okay, so here's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about primer right now while I'm letting that set because you have to let that SPF set for a couple minutes. It is, it is a well-known fact that primers with a lot of silicone in it, and you can tell if you look at your ingredients. Um, hold on. Here's the elf. If you look at the ingredients, if the top five ingredients have one or more um, ingredients that have C-O-N-E, cone at the end, you got yourself a silicone um, primer. Now, silicone is great at filling in the pores and kind of blurring it. If I have an older woman in my chair, um, I was, I've been using this Derma Blend Pore Saver. But again, I wasn't using Saint in my Pro Kit. I'm using the CC, the It CC cream because it's so adjustable and, and I've worked with it since 2014. Um, I don't use Saint in my Pro Kit, but also I don't do a lot of makeup outside of the house anymore. Okay. Um, this e.l.f. has nothing with a C-O-N-E at the end. So it is water-based. Water is the number one. It's got glycerin. It's got really, it's got niacinamide. It's got really yummy, juicy ingredients. It's got tocopherol. Someone said the other day, oh, does the French face have um, vitamin E in it? Because I'm allergic to vitamin E. Unfortunately, tocopherol is like in so much um, skincare and makeup. Um, so yeah, this has vitamin E. But I have been telling women for about a year, year and a half to go buy the e.l.f. Power Grip. It is a green gel and they literally knocked off Milk Hydro Grip. Now, nothing's better than Milk Hydro Grip. Milk Hydro Grip is probably 
around $38. They are the original gel grippy makeup primer. No one has done that before and no silicone, okay? And you can put it just in your T-zone where we tend to like lose makeup because our skin's drinking our makeup in and this holds your makeup on. But now they've got this new version, which is niacinamide. Now, the reason I bought this is because my TikTok friend, Samantha, used to be a Mac artist just like me. She has larger pores, she's super oily, and she has trouble with makeup staying on. And she said this holds her makeup on all day. I said, good enough for me. Now, um, I haven't tried this, I'm gonna try it right now, but the fact that it works so well for Samantha, and she uses it under MAC foundations, House Lab foundations. Um, I don't know, she's a younger gal, she's probably late 30s. Um, I don't think she uses cream-based makeup, but I know this works under cream-based makeup because I have the e.l.f. Okay, I got a um, notification from my phone and it just, um, anyway. Okay, so another thing you can do um, if you are on the normal, normal to dry, dry side is the Embryo Lease. And I looked everywhere, I cannot find it. You can tell I'm still not unpacked. I do keep Embryo Lease in my Pro Kit. So I went to my Pro Kit closet, which is not in this room. I keep my TV and film makeup completely separate from my all my personal makeup. Um, I couldn't find it. I just bought a new one too, but I don't know where I put it. Anyway, Embryo Lease, and I'll put the name down here. Embryo Lease is a French moisturizer that has a built-in primer. We have it in every makeup trailer for TV and film and commercial that I've ever worked in. Um, we used to use it at ESPN because if someone came in and we only had 30 minutes to do their hair and makeup and um, they had done maybe skincare at home, but it's been a few hours, we would put on Embryo Lease and then their makeup would go on like a dream, even for men. Embryo Lease is a great primer. Um, I don't know that I would recommend it for super oily women, but I certainly used it in studio on super oily women and it worked great. Um, but we were doing makeup for camera and I could run in every hour and touch them up with blotting powder and blotting papers. So that's one of those things where you have to be your own guinea pig. And you can buy a smaller size. You don't have to commit to the full size of Embryo Lease. You can buy a smaller size. Again, you would just use it through T-Zone. We don't use primers all over the whole face, okay? So I'm going to just do That's one pump. Do you see how little that is? Oh, it's real sticky. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna need another pump. I'm already out. Okay, that's a full pump there. Okay, that's gonna be too much now. Okay, we're only gonna put it where we have larger pores that sort of drink in our makeup and keep our makeup from staying, staying in place, okay? Do you see that? And do you see how I, I was talking to you because I wanted to wait a good amount of time for my SPF to set, okay? So I just put that on, it feels sticky. Now, right now it just feels kind of cooling. It's really nice, it has a very cooling feeling. It doesn't feel sticky on the face, it feels sticky when you touch it. It is a gripping primer with no silicone in it, okay? It's about 10 bucks. 10, 11 bucks. I just saw a whole end cap of this at Target the other day, okay? Good old Elf. Elf's taking over the world. Um, it's, it's kind of amazing, okay? Now we can go in with all of our products. So I'll do it real quickly for you. Real, real quickly, because I want to show you. If you haven't seen it, go to my step-by-step um, -step if you're brand new. You can go to my step-by-step -step and doggone it. Still don't have my bronzer. Don't know where my bronzer brush is. Okay, I'm gonna do bronzer first. I feel like doing bronzer today because French face kind of worried, kind of 
ruin me. French face is so pretty. I'm gonna do a whole video Saturday on French face, so check back. It's my friend Leah's company, so if you're like, wait, why would you talk about a different brand? You sell Saint. Well, I'm a 30 year pro. I'm, I'm gonna talk about all the different brands. Saint is my number one. I love Saint. It's so beautiful. I love helping women with Saint. Um, but my friend Leah is a close, close friend and she developed French face and it's beautiful and I'm really, really, really proud of her. And so we're gonna talk about it on um, Saturday and I'm gonna tell you how to use it. Okay, a little bit on the bottom, tiny bit. I like to go down my neck just a little bit because my neck is butt white and my face is not. Okay, see how I haven't blended it in too much because we're gonna let, we're gonna let our foundation blend it in. So I'm gonna go in with, Oof, do I want Athens or candlelit? Oh, maybe I'll do both. Maybe I'll do both. Okay, so I'm gonna do some, Athens. Now remember the bronzer has a tiny, tiny bit of um, coverage. Of course, I'm gonna have to look at all this close up to see how it looks, but so far it's looking okay. Athens is a little bit deeper than candlelit, so I'll put it in areas where I like a little bit deeper. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with, that was Athens, I'm gonna go in with candlelit. We'll do the other side. Do you see how I'm kind of twisting the brush to pick it up. Okay, and I'm gonna go candlelit in the center of my forehead. See how I'm blending it up into the bronzer so it all blends together. And then from here, do you see how I have a little bit of depth on my forehead, but it doesn't look unnatural. Um, I also like a lighter color on the jawline, especially because that's closest to my light, light, light skin on my neck. It's okay to build up too. If you ever think like, oh, I'm not sure Saint is enough coverage for me well, then you're just not building enough up. That's like saying, oh, I, I'm not getting enough um, coverage out of my Sherwin-William paint. Well, how many layers did you do of your Sherwin-William paint? You have to do a layer and let it fully dry, then do another layer, then let it fully dry. I've bought one coat paint before and I've still had to do three coats. So it just depends how opaque you want it to look, okay? So you can even do little circular motions. All right, let me get my magnification mirror and see how this looks close up. Now remember, I don't have anything under my eyes yet because I, I only use Demi. Looks pretty. Looks really, really pretty. Some of you have said, hey, you're not using your stands out sponge. That's because Tate got a hold of it. We found it behind the couch and I haven't cleaned it yet. <laughs> but thankfully he didn't destroy it. He just put his nasty mouth all over it. Okay, so this is looking really good. That looks really good. It's even. It looks great, okay? Um, I'm gonna be real quick today. Like I said, I'm probably just going to Costco. So 
I'm gonna just do a little bit of 03, tiny bit where I see kind of that purpley blue and red. I get kind of red, do you see I'm got, I got some red? Just a little bit, I got blue veins. I don't really paint out my veins when I'm just kind of trying to be fast and easy. Those are my dents for my glasses. And then I'm gonna go in with NR1, which you know I call the magic color. Pretty much anyone can use this under the eye unless you start getting a little bit deeper than JLo, and then I have a different color system for you. I don't think this, I think this would go too light and ashy if you have deeper golden skin. But it just, I mean, it's just magic. It just goes under the eyes. People are like, what does it do? I'm like, I don't know, it's magic. It even corrects. All right, I don't know what's going on, but my phone keeps saying I'm out of storage. But when I check it, I'm not even close to being out of storage. So I don't know what's going on. But anyway, my sister has rosacea and she loves using the NR1 to um, get rid of any, do you see this little bruise I have here? Tate nailed me when I was I was bathing him and um, grooming him like a week ago. I'm gonna put a little pink because I see a little bit of green and yellow. Okay. All right, and then um, I want to use. I'm gonna do some of my Bella bronzer. In my crease. And I'm kinda of doing my nose with Bella today. Again, I'm not going anywhere where I have to look great, but I just wanted to show you how to skin prep. And then again, you've got to look always close up in a magnification mirror. To make sure that's all blended. It looks more blended than person than on camera, but remember high def really intensifies everything you put on. So my eyes look a little bit more intense on camera than they do in person. All right, and um, let's see, I'm gonna do, real quick on my eyes, I'm gonna do this little, it's called Scattered Light Glitter Shadow by Hourglass. I'm gonna do, Why am I not using a Saint shadow? Cause I am lazy and this is sitting right in front of me. That's why. <laughs> Let's see, I don't know if I love how that looks. Oh yeah, that's pretty. All right, I'm probably gonna do a Saint shadow in a minute. Okay. So, what do we think? I might do a little. You could see my veins in my forehead, but I'm just, you know, there are my temples. I'm just leaving it. But do you see how nice that looks close up? And then I go back in and I just make sure Everything is well blended. A little bit more bronzer out here. And of course, you know what else I'm gonna do? What's my favorite blush? Where is my favorite blush? Oh, R5. If you are cool toned, if you like a cool tone makeup, you could do VR5. 
It's more blue tone, but I like R5. It's a warm pink. I call it Barbie pink. It looks just like Barbie pink. It's so happy. Just kind of makes you look like you've got a little flush. Whatever's left on the brush, I'll kind of marry the foundation and the bronzer. I might do the tiniest bit on the nose. And remember, it's going to look brighter at first because you're pounding your face, right? You're touching your skin, so it brings blood to the surface. But in a minute, that's going to be um, really toned down, okay? All right, I'm going to go do my brows and lashes, and I'll be right back. All right, I don't know what's going off on with my phone. It keeps telling me that I have low storage, and then when I go to check the storage, I have plenty of storage. So I think it's a stupid... I think Apple wants me to update my phone with that new um, operating system and everyone's complaining about it. Anyway, here we go. So I'm looking at this close up. It is seamless. My bruise is gone on my forehead. Do you see how toned down? I didn't powder my face. Did you see how toned down that pink blush is? It's just barely there. It just kind of looks like I kind of squeezed my cheeks. My lips are also a little bit of R5 mixed with Ballerina, okay? Now, I don't have problem keeping Saint on. In fact, when we had our big conference in April, I would put it on early in the morning and just keep layering for evening. Um, it just, it's it stays beautifully on me. I don't believe I was using a primer. Maybe I was using Embryolis, I'm not sure, but what I like about this e.l.f. primer is I don't see a layer of anything. It doesn't feel like it's layered. And what happens with a lot of primers is it creates a physical layer on your skin and the makeup sits on top. Well, silicone warms up, it slides around. Yes, it fills the pores, but at what expense? So I really like something like this or Milk Hydro Grip, or again, I love Embryolis. I'm sure there's silicone in Embryolis, but it is tried and true. It is used in TV and film. It gave people instantly good skin when they sat in my chair and I had almost no time to do their makeup. It allowed their makeup to go on beautifully because Embryolis is a moisturizer and primer in one, and you would put it on after your SPF. I know that sounds weird because normally you would moisturize then SPF, but I want you to think of Embryolis as your primer. It's a moisturizing primer. I want you to think of it as a primer, okay? SPF is our very last step of, of um, skincare and primer is our first step of makeup. That said, not everyone needs a primer. You know, if you're if you're hydrating your face really, really well, and you are normal skin to dry skin, mature skin, even combo, you might not need a primer. Or you might just need it through the T-zone where you know the pores tend to drink in your makeup. Again, you need to be your own guinea pig. I'm always here to help you troubleshoot. Okay, so happy you're here. If you didn't know, I added a Monday night new series called The Monday Review. So go watch that. I just posted it um, Monday night. It might not be every Monday, but it's going to be most Mondays because I receive so much PR that this way I can try it and talk about it and let you know if I think it's worthy of your hard-earned money or if it's a pass or maybe it's a pass for me, but maybe you're younger and have more combo skin and it works great for you. We're going to talk about all the things. And if you didn't know it, I have been obsessed with QVC most of my adult life. I love QVC. Um, when my mom was dying, she was laying in bed for a year and we moved her home, we got her out of the hospital, we moved her home and we would just sit and watch QVC. And she would say, oh, Michelle, you'd be so good at QVC. And I'm like, it, it's kind of a dream job, mom. I, I would love to be a QVC host because I love to educate. I love to sell. I love products. I love women. Um, and I actually sent QVC a resume back in 2019, maybe? 2018, I think. 2018, my mom was still alive. I wanted her to know, mom, I, I tried. I sent a resume in. Of course, they never got back to me because I'm a nobody. You know, nobody knows who I am. But I, now I don't need QVC. First of all, they want you to live in Pennsylvania. You need to live near Philly where the headquarters are. 
and I don't want to live in Philly, even though I love visiting, but I'm really kind of my own little QVC, you know? And so it, it, I feel very fulfilled at what I'm doing. I love it. And so one of the reasons I started a Monday review is because I have so many, so many, so many products to talk about. And um, this will give me an outlet to do that. It's fun for you. And sometimes I can tune into QVC and just like watch it for pure entertainment. I just love watching QVC. I'm not tempted to buy anything. Um, I used to be, but now I have a 24 hour rule where if I really, really want something, I'll wait 24 hours. Um, because 24 hours later, 90% of the time, I don't even want it 24 hours later. We just get caught up in the moment, okay? So I want my Monday review to be like that for you. I want it to be something fun and entertaining. Maybe it can help you replenish as you run out of product. But remember, we're not going to stock up on stuff we don't need. We're not going to do that. We're not going to be gluttonous. We're not going to be over consumers. It's just meant for fun, for entertainment, and to showcase all the products I get. Um, then 24 hours later, if you really, really want it, well, maybe you need it, you know, maybe you need that little perk in your life. Okay. If you are my Saint customer, if you have shopped through me and you signed up under me, stay tuned. I'm going to talk about what's to come. All right. Hello, my loyal friend. Okay. If you are my Saint customer, that means you are in my back office. You are in my system. Um, you will receive an email from me hopefully <laughs> my husband's going to help me hopefully before Friday because Friday is December 1st we are doing my whole team is doing a 12 day of Christmas there are really cool products you could win there's um, really cool headphones there's beautiful clothing there's fragrance there's mascara there's all sorts of really beautiful luxury items that are going to be um, given away as prizes but what, but what it is, is it's a customer appreciation. So we put together this fun little 12 day texting party where you can't respond. So don't worry, you're not caught in a chat where your, you know, your phone is dinging all day because so many people are um, commenting. No, we all hate that. It's not a group chat. It is a text party where you will receive um, each day one or more texts about St tips, videos, lot of, all that, right? And it's just to kind of bless you guys. And then there's going to be giveaways. So I'm going to send you an email. It will have the phone number that you have to text to. There is going to be a keyword, a secret keyword. So you need to text this phone number with the keyword and you're locked in. It is not a retroactive party. So if you accidentally forget about it and join the third, well then that's fine. You're in on the third and going forward for 12 days, but you cannot go back and watch the first and the second. So whatever day you get in is your first day. So try to get in um, Thursday the 30th so you know you're in, or at the very least December 1st so you know you're in, but you want to be in by December 1st. I'm really saying November 30th. So look for my email now. If you know that you know that you know you're my customer, um, then, and here's the thing, if you are with another artist, but you have purchased through my party links, but you like your artist, and go to your artist and see if your artist team, I'm sure they're offering some kind of fun holiday thing. So go to your artist and see, because um, if you have ordered through my party links, but you're linked to another artist, you're still linked under that artist. You're not in my back office as my customer. So there's that. Also, if you are my customer and for some reason you didn't get your email from me, go to colormatchbymichelle at gmail.com. Okay, colormatchbymichelle at gmail.com. Forward me like a previous order and say, Hey, Michelle, I never got your email. Here's an order proving I'm your customer. And then I will email you back all the information you need. Okay. So it's a little bit of work. It's a little bit of work. You have to open an email. You have to, um, 
text the number with the code word and then you're in. Or if you don't get my email for whatever reason, email me at colormatchedbymichelle@gmail.com. Show me an order anywhere. I don't care if it's from two years ago. Show me an order that you are my customer with my, it'll have your customer number and my customer number on your receipt. Um, and I will email you back all the information you need because this is going to be fun. I'm really excited and hopefully I'm really praying a lot of my customers win great products. Um, but we can't wait. We're, we're all really excited. It's called the 12 Days of Christmas and it's just a customer appreciation. Um, I think that's it. So I will see you all back here Saturday for my friend Leah's French face. And God loves you. I love you too. I thank you for your loyalty and your business. Bye for now.